Your own stuff? Somebody else's stuff? Yeah, this is uh, this original. It's called Behind. Take so, it away, fellas. All right. Joints we blew It was a blast But I knew It just wasn't meant to last Cause times were hard Drinking in the black But I can't get that It's not your fault So the, I'm sorry, your name again, man? Dave, uh, Dave Foss. Dave yeah. Foss? Nice to meet you. So how did you guys meet up at shit? Bar or uh, no, this is door? actually uh, my cousin's like a longtime friend, man. He actually took the rap for him one day. Okay, the hell out of shit. On a prison thing, so he ended up doing 10 years for my cousin. Oh, no shit, and, uh, huh? Yeah, so uh, that's how we met up, man. We just started jamming. Uh, my cousin always jams with him, so I just picked him up. He needed a bass player, man. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he got on the road and doing some shit. I mean, he's doing some shit, too. It ain't like he ain't open up for nobody's, man. I mean, he's... You know, he got his eye, open up for Sponge, right? Sponge? Oh, yeah, Sponge. Uh, Fucking did that shit with um, MC5? That yeah, guy? MC5, Shine What inspires you? Inspires me, uh... Inspiration? Cheesy question, but inspiration. It's a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that inspires me, you know, like, uh... Shit that I went through, like, uh, yeah, I lost my dad, like, when I was, like, a little bit younger, 14, you know, so. How old are you again, real quick? 18. Oh, he's 18? Yeah, okay. so, you know, I lost my dad young, but, you know, that inspired me a little, and, uh, uh marijuana helps, you know, like. <laughs> yeah? Marijuana helps everything. So, I don't know, there's a lot of shit that goes down with uh, my writing process, but, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write some more shit, so there'll be some more shit out there. Good, good, good. Yeah. Now, so do you have anything out right now? Anyone we can get a hold of some of your stuff? So, uh, SoundCloud? Uh, yeah, I have a SoundCloud, yep. I'm on SoundCloud, I'm on, uh. Radio Rebel.net. Right? What's that again? This is just Jeremiah. Yeah, yeah. RadioRebel.net. So it's a little underground radio station. I'm glad you didn't get they complicated play. with it because it makes it hard for people. It's just straight up <laughs> Jeremiah Ferguson. Right, that's right. it. Just Google it. I'm not hard to find. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I always got those haters out there talking shit. 
They're out there. Uh, well, yeah, you can find them too. Oh, uh, I know what they are doing. The good thing that. about that, though, is we're still talking about you. <laughs> that's not talking about. That's all right. You, that's let right. them keep talking, because, yeah, man, that's, that's, that's the best kind of promotion. That's right. Uh, so <laughs> I was like, let them keep talking. Anyways, man, I love it here on the Detroit Dungeon. Thank you very much for coming back, man. You guys are just fun. You're going to have to come back up and do another one in a little Yeah, exactly. You guys are just fun. Next time, I want a happier one, though. I want one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I'm depressed lately. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to have a depressed song. We'll come, come back. We'll bring you back around here in a yeah, couple minutes. Yeah, we got minutes, some happy so. shit. Man. We'll, we'll, we'll come back. We're going to bring you back at the end of the show. We're going to sing a happy song, all right? All right, man. All right, man. All right DJ. Once again, Jeremiah Ferguson in the house. Thank you, gentlemen. You got it. This is the Jeremiah Ferguson band, right? That's right. There you go. Can't go wrong with that. Hanging out here on a Tuesday night when the bit the cold. We still got some lovely people in the house. Ranier's in the house here. Kadra's in the house. Kadra. Right? Kadra? Okay, I just want to make sure. It's French. Kadra. And our mystery skull. Our mystery skull. Speaking of our mystery skull, I think we're going to have to give away another clue. Hopefully he'll make it back. I would love to give away another clue. He actually left. So what do we give that? We give oh, it a, on a scale. Oh, stuck. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. What did you give it? There, uh, I think it's very good. I it an 84. An 84. Yeah. There you go. So it's an 84, okay. like, out of 80, what? 84, 84 out of 100. Out of 100. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. that's good. That's pretty damn good. Yep. Nice pretty tannic good. notes in it. Smell it good stuff. It's good to see him again. Always hyping up the site. Jeremiah, he always, he always puts up all the shares and stuff. Thank you. Man. Thank you. We Thanks love you. Thanks a lot, man. We love it. All right, clue time. Once again, he is the biggest letter letter in the, in the alphabet. Once again, the biggest letter in the alphabet. Clue number two. His favorite animal is the beaver. That's right. His favorite animal is the beaver. <laughs> yeah, by the way, remember how we were talking about what's the difference between like uh, gophers and beavers? Remember that the other day we were talking about what the difference no. was? I know what it is. You know what it is? I remember. The smell. <laughs> what was on the back of the Canadian quarter? They didn't get it. The smell. They didn't get it. Oh. oh. The smell. That's yucky. The taste. The Ew. taste. <laughs> Ew. 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 Speaking of Harold <laughs> Ramis and beavers. Oh, poor Harold <laughs> Ramis. Who? Harold Ramis. He was part of Caddyshack. Oh, well, okay. The Gophers. Guy who, Gophers. I, I know who he is, but I'm, I can't shut that. I, uh, I'm not going to say that I was a huge fan of his, right. but I never knew that he did so much. I knew him from You know what's really weird is a lot of people had no clue exactly no. what Harold Ramis actually really did. I never knew that he sure, was a director right or anything like that. Oh, yeah. It took for him and, to pass uh, away for me to learn these things. Isn't that wild? You know what's really wild about that though? It's like no. one of my family members actually said something about it. They're like, I can't believe he did so much like Animal House. He like wrote like so much of like Animal House and all that. Yeah. And people are just like, wow, you know, I I never knew. You never know about people. That's why we have this show, so we can learn about people on our show. Oh, that's good. Is it good? Which one is that? It's really vanilla y. Let me try that one. I don't Ooh, know. It's lady. supposed to be. It's supposed to be like Captain Morgan, but a girl, I think. It's lady Bly, is that how it is? Lady it tastes Bly? better. It's more like vanilla. -y. Try it's, it. Tastes like her, smooth. It's like a liquor sampling <laughs> session here tonight. If you own a liquor company and you would like to sponsor us, <laughs> you'll get a lot we of drink. entertainment and a lot of advertising from us. A lot us. of tasting. So we don't. We don't not taste. No. We will give mm -hmm. you the proper <laughs> publicity that you need. The proper. Proper. I mean, where else can you advertise alcohol on a show like ours? It's worldwide. They watch us in California, too. Worldwide. worldwide. Yeah, we're in uh, UK. Yeah. You can watch it worldwide. How cool is that? So, let's bring some flavor to my girl up on here. I think so. I think it's time. <laughs> She yeah. writes. She writes books. And she's the only other woman here besides me. Royal Talk Publishing. Lucky she's girl. all into that. Yeah. Rania is in the Rania. house. Make some noise for Rania. <laughs> yeah. Hi, honey. Welcome to the show. Queen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello, hello. Nice. So we're just learning a lot about you as you walk in with all your books and everything like that. So let's just tell the folks. It's only three. It's only three. But I'm three impressed that wrote. you've. Accomplish this. This is awesome. Thank you. Thank you. It really is. Well, it, it it's it's basically a ghetto love story. It's, oh, yeah? it's, it's nothing 
major or trying to get bestseller. It's just is it your experience? Some relativity, or no? a little bit. A little yeah. Bit. Some of your yeah, own experience. I'm gonna be honest. I'm because be honest. you know you have I'll to be, be honest. You I'm have to be, be inspired when you write stuff like this, so it has to come from something. It does. It actually comes from a, a journal entry. A what again? A journal. A journal entry. Okay. It started. I burned my journal. Oh, so like, oh nice you like, know what you ought to. I want to. You might want to. Hey, okay. that's a lot of damage. You I know. know. Hey, sister love. I know. <laughs> There's a lot of me. memories. But I yeah, should have logged it, in it, and did it, this. It started out as a journal entry, and one of my sisters that I grew up with, Tanya. Myself, Hi, Tanya. Tanya um, <laughs> she was like, you know, make a book. Why don't you write your own book? You know, I started helping. I was ghostwriting. Right. Yeah. You know, my main thing is journalism. I write for others that, to help others get the word out. Right. That's what sparked royalty publishing. Okay. You know, be a voice for a nation. Do it for everybody. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a voice. Right. You know, so um, when, when she told me, she came to me, she was like, write your own book. You know, you're writing everybody else's book. Mm -hmm. So I was like, hmm. But this had a lot of excitement in it. This one entry. You know, and You want to read it? You can read it. Yeah, you can read it. I, I want to hear, uh, hear a man read the first page. Oh, yeah, that's the oh, first yeah, page. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 This, this, the, this the is the first one. Romance. Right. Look, right. this, it's online. You can go Amazon. You can go Writings right. by Ron Ye. It's on Amazon. This is the first book. This is the best book. This is the second book. Right, and this on. is the third book. This got the drama. Oh, that one's got the that drama. That first book, this is just a journey of the heart. See, the subtitles give you that that insight to what it's all about. Yeah. See, the first book is, is just a journey of hearts. You have no yeah. names, no nobody. It, it, it's just two hearts. And then people that are surrounding them, their environment. It's based in Detroit. Okay. It's urban. It's, I like it's, that concept. It's, it's based a ghetto love story. That's you know, it's points in Detroit. It's beautiful. Yeah. And then the, <laughs> I will say this: in the first book, the male person he gets kidnapped. No! Don't shot. give away the no! Don't give away the. I want you to know <laughs> this. I want no. you to know this because <laughs> you cannot you cannot read this one. Or this one without, without this one. that one. Okay. So trying to read this one without this one, you're not gonna understand. You know other. So you got some and other shit going this on one, here. But it looks this like... one right now is free oh, online. Okay. Or through Amazon. Does it bring you in? This is the last book. Well, the third you the book. First one to bring well, we got one more book that I'm I'm about to finish. I'm working on now. It's on tour with me. That's gonna be the fourth and final book to this. Series. And I'm, I want to pay more attention to helping other people get published. Yeah. I want to, you know, there's some inmates out there with stories to tell. Mm -hmm. And people with showcasing yeah, and with royal talk. That. Yeah, you were talking yeah about I want to help others. Yeah. You know, I would rather, the royalty publishing, I only did this to start to help royalty publishing become, you know, known and recognized mm -hmm. to help others become published. Right. You know, so I've done my job. Right, right, right. So right. once I put the last and final book to this final, he's fine. I'm he's okay silly. with that. Oh, he loves this it. This guy yeah. looks like, he looks like, Ooh, a, he, thought, you know he almost looks like Mackay Pfeiffer a little thing, bit. Like Mackay Pfeiffer a little bit. Through the whole yeah. thing I was saying, pizza, <laughs> like, pizza, mm, pizza. Mm. He said, you want pizza after the, um, well, not, the uh, shoot? I said, no, I want pizza. You. <laughs> he was so <laughs> Oh, was that him? Pizza you. His oh, name is that, Marvin. Okay. He's a, a model. He's gorgeous. Okay. But he's a personal trainer. Oh, you are so and crazy. This is the, the chocolate this is one, you. This <laughs> one is when we started Royalty Publishing. <laughs> <laughs> she is hot. Hello, Very Marvin. Hot. I love or Mar Kelly. What's his name, Marvin? Yeah, yes. He's sexy. Kelly, I want you in Royalty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's good, though. I, I want BJ. BJ. I want yeah. BJ to read. Right, I, want right. I want a man. I want a man. When you first open Sit the down, book, here we go. I want to see what he's going to say. The journey of see. two hearts connected. Mm -hmm. It was him in that closet. She knew it was him because she had seen everybody leave the house but him. At first, she thought 
just like everyone else did, they had to get slipped past them while they were talking. Come on, be sexier. Yeah. That it was once no that, it that it's once that him gone. One. <laughs> All right, I didn't know there I didn't know there, I didn't know that there was sexiness involved in it. I be thought, sexy. I, okay. Okay. He was that type. He could slither away from the crowd and not be missed for at least fifteen minutes. He was the one Ooh. that was always backed in the dim light, hiding in the dark. Like the and this, she learned later, was a tactic or, or a char tactic. characteristic known as sitting back, which is what he did. Just sat back and allowed the light to shine on those that demanded it. And although he was seen, he was sitting in the back of that dark closet, yes. she had seen his eyes staring back at her from the dark. And needless to say, it scared her speechless for a split second. Yes! <laughs> Damn! Oh, that's me! Kelly! Kelly is the sound! Kelly is the shit, isn't it? She did it better. She did just it to the right. Are you on tape? There you go. It twanged my heartstrings. O M B. I can sell that in other places with <laughs> Kelly's voice. There you go. Books I like yes. that. I like yeah, that. Well. Yes. I like that. Yeah, I but, 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 but 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 what the book it. is 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 two people who actually they had a childhood crush and tried yes, to rekindle right. it once they became adults. But they're oh, past. Wait, well, what time again? They were all in love. They were like, they were childhood. They were young. Well, and, you know, and during saying, those times in the seventies and eighties, right? Yeah. yeah, they had a little crush, but he couldn't. You yeah. have to read the back of it. See, that was his best friend. So friend's they get a little girlfriend. older and they realize. Oh, yeah, yeah they he was together. in love with his best friend's girlfriend. So you know, it, 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 like it travels it. with them. And that the fourth one, the one that I'm But they had divorced and everything like that. Is that what it was? Mm -mm. No, they were no. still. He, lo he no. loved her all, yeah? No. But they kind of. Death ends, death ends their marriage. Uh, oh, interesting. Well, that would do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now everybody, everybody watching. I'm but the death is in this book, so you can go ahead and find out about the death so you now. Exactly. You can find out about the death now. The and if you're on Amazon, you got free. Kindle is free right now. I got it open right now because I'm on book. Tour. Like, how are they gonna like give them the URL? They, or whatever? Like well, right now, it. you can on Amazon. You can look at Royalty Publishing. It will pop up. The title of the book is Just as I Leaned In. You can Google With me. With Mackay Pfeiffer. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lots of them will be like, wait a minute, that's me, not I Mackay. I know, but he looks a little bit. You know what? Let me <laughs> see. Just a tad bit of this. You know what? Because I do like Mackay. <laughs> I do. I do. I do. <laughs> she recognizes that. I do. I do. But it, but wait, before Mark. I leave, we I love you, Marvin. We gotta go over a couple things before you leave. I want to be rushing on. No, we're not rushing on. You can take as long as you want. Here's what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about this. First of all, we're gonna talk about Royal Talk Magazine. Tell us a little bit about Royal Talk. Yes, I want to plug Royal Talk. Royal Talk is basically for unsigned people, people that are trying to promote themselves. Okay. It offers you a showcase, a platform for whatever your creativity your expertise, your passion, whatever you would like to share with the nation, you can um, Google us, Royal Talk. No, it listen, pops up. I was going to do it, and I got the questions, and it intimidated me because I felt... She's saying intimidated. Now, she here, did. now I'm gonna. Well, we because it's weird. Because we live, it's and you weird can tell me back what you think, but no, I yeah. listen to her. Right? I yep. felt like the questions that you guys were asking me were were directed towards teenagers. And I, like I told you earlier, I don't feel confident because I used to be in the adult yeah. film world yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. I we don't feel confident protect, trying to yeah. be a role yeah. model towards children. Yeah. I don't. And I, we I are not don't. asking, <laughs> yeah. the nation, we are not asking for royal soul. But a lot we of are the, not a asking lot of the for role models. Were, yeah. What we are asking is that you share your story, your like journey. Like how you got yeah. to where you are. Of whatever you have a passion for, are creative in, or would like to share with the nation. We don't care what you do. Yeah. We don't care 
where you came the, from. We, that yeah. is not the point. You guys should change what the questions we, then, because when I was so reading... That's so pr- okay. Because we're, that's what freaked me out. I thought they would be... A lot of the questions were like... Because, like, the they questions were... Like, were what what, would, you tell, you what would you tell teenagers trying to get into your field? And I'm thinking about it, and I'm like... And tell him to get. I would. Hell no! Yeah. See, no, I can't. Get, like get, 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 get a college education! Yeah. I want her to be superwoman yeah. because she's a superwoman. Kelly Jean is a superwoman. I've been yeah. a long way. I don't care from what she's being humble about. Like, 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 <laughs> you know where I'm But I want you to share your journey, your drive, your what motivates you. What what well, what do you is mind a if part I... of you? It doesn't matter. People would not know about you unless you told them. But How do you that? mind if I were to talk about myself? If I were to tell the the kids maybe reading this magazine not to go down the path that I necessarily hey, if went that's down. That's what no? you want to share. Share that. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I wouldn't recommend it for yeah. any young. And that's the thing. I'm not against it. Yeah. I'm not against. Yeah. I'm not against yeah. it. Yeah. And that's okay. the cool thing about us, because we kind of traveled those paths, so we've got but good stories. But don't belittle yourself and yeah. whatever you Oh, no, forget. I don't feel belittled. I went through a huge Be journey. proud of what you do, because you, know. you are doing a lot. Y'all heard it here first. She is beyond... You are a But it was a woman. long, hard road. All right, that's what I want you to a share. Dirty, this dirty, is not on Dirty this. road. Wait a minute. Dirty, dirty road. <laughs> dirty. Dirty. It was dirty. bad. But it was like, yeah, I mean, I, I, was, for that. I was in the adult oh, industry wait, wait, from the age of 18. <laughs> I started stripping. And then I got into adult <laughs> films. Oh, yeah. Yes, and that's why I'm saying when you guys are sending me things, ask me. Uh, people need to hear that because there's some people and that might be balls, in there. I'm with anyone watching yeah. Yeah. anybody. That's yeah. who I am. And yeah. Yeah. But we're Share, real. Roy, yeah. talking <laughs> about that. Share your story because you never know who it may help. Mm-hmm. You... Yeah. And I never had but a negative. But you're on that level too because you're doing a thing with the prisoners. Now a lot of people will be like, oh, they don't I have think that's story. amazing. I Heart that's to awesome. home. They're gonna have the I best stories. I love that. They're gonna have the they best stories. They are. Story. But you know, you can so you can comprehend. You know what I'm saying? It's like in a, in that a what it was. Well, mm-hmm. what it was were a couple of demands came to me. A couple of letters. People had um, supporters had passed the word. Okay. It was like this royalty publishing is a company that will probably help you. They're known to help you. If you don't have it, they'll try to help you do something. Call them and let them know what you are. And we got a, a few letters from inmates and they were asking and they felt their situation like we don't have the money. Mm-hmm. But we really have a story we want to get out. To kind of raise money for our families. And stuff. Yeah. So I was like, let me sit on that for a minute and it'll come to me. I think yeah. it's I'm a really spiritual. cool idea. I'm very really spiritual. And it came across, and I want to help them. But these people out here, like even y'all, they, that, that want to support. Even and, if they and had a dark story, here, it would still It don't matter, but we can help them. Right. They it don't have the money, so we got to way. help them. We have to help them. You would be amazed. They don't have think, money, so that's I think what a lot of people my program is for. We're trying to help raise money, everybody, any support, any assistance, anything. Right now we have a tour going on where we have fish dinners that we're selling, going around to raise money to help them to publish these books that they want to get out. Because you know the stories they have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know they good. Oh yeah. You know they're oh, good. Oh yeah. You supposed to fist pound. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna wake up, Kelly? Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> this is where the drinking poison is. Um, so the, you're talking about the book tour now. Where are you guys going on this book tour around town? Or right here, cities? right here. The book tour is it's in several um, just small little facilities, libraries. To pretty much to fill in where we left off. With the third, because mm-hmm. it's consecutive. Right. You want to keep going where where you started. Right. So, pretty much, it's the base of the places that we've been before. Um, right now, we'll be traveling to Alabama. Oh, okay. Throughout, um, we have a few places in um, Detroit and throughout Michigan. Do you know any other uh, authors in Michigan and stuff? Oh, it's a few that I, that, that I read we a are book. trying to help. I read a book. Oh, it was a uh, it was a booty shop book. Oh, yeah. A booty shop. Something Wonder. 
and her booty is huge. Vanity the, Wonder. The, the, Vanity wait. Wonder. She wrote a, sh- a whole book on on getting those ass injections. Oh my oh, god! Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. No, you're the one that. Oh yeah. 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 It was. I like, don't know about all No, but the book was crazy. But I don't know about getting stuck in the ass. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know either. But it was a good. No, listen. I don't know about that either. But I'm saying it was a good book. Yeah. Vanity Wonder, that's her name. Wow. From Detroit. She wrote a book about the underground. I wish I had time to read, because I love to read. Yeah. I would Did love you to. Read? But I really when I'm working, I don't really like to good. have other things interfere. You know, I don't like to have reading of other things that interfere right. with what the writings and what we're doing. Hey, I understand that. That's why I don't have a I TV. don't need nothing to interfere <laughs> with that while I'm working no and cool things like that. Be. But I love to read, but. It was really like gritty. Reno. The whole thing Ooh. was gritty. Was, I like gritty. Nah, I want to add you. Like this I like reading. You like this one? Uh, strawberry. Like the story of Strawberry. Yeah, what is that? Because I never heard of it. Yeah, she... Strawberry was an exotic dancer um, who got caught up in the Man- Manuhia Mansion. Uh, the she mayor was having a bachelor yeah. party or some party at his... At a bachelor party. Oh! Yeah. And then she got killed. Oh, like, it's when so, the family that was yeah. trying to come yeah. back and sue the... the like, it's so, a book about that? Yeah. 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 Friend who was on the show wrote a book. Friend was on the show, yeah. She wrote a book about it and it's uh, it's really gripping. She puts oh, all the... Oh, friend different, wrote a book. Well, we met her on the show. So yeah. she's okay. our now okay. friend. But, yeah, um, okay. okay. It was, it's a good... It's a good book. It's very, uh... Conspiracy theory, like Might all different twists and turns, and because yeah. you never know what happened. Yeah, you never know. Nothing was you know, ever found out. Was ever yeah. That. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. But, it's but I do. I have to sign these before I leave. For Absolutely. Yeah. All right. I do. I'm so really well, thankful. Talk to you other stuff. Like, who are some of the artists that you've had on? Like, like oh, musicians. Royal Talk. That Royal Talk is open for any person that want to promote creativity, artists of any kind, comedians, actors, actresses, We need to get our producers. email list and send their yeah. information to and everybody that we have in our stockpile. Yeah. If you, if, if you, like I say, if you Google, if you Google, yeah. Google Royal Talk, if you Google Royal Talk, the easing is gonna pop up. Okay. And when you click on and you go through there, you can see a, a lot of how what we showcase of helping people, just ordinary people that, that want to showcase extraordinary talents and gifts that might can help somebody else mm-hmm. that will want to do this, that will want to be there someday. It's people that will want to learn the pluck, to talk, to stand in front of cameras, to have that persona to be able to, to change and wear mm-hmm. pain <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. It's and you different. obviously met and, uh, and, and, and and of course we, we, we want to inspire the youth. In about but, five years, I'm going to become a reformed only for Christian, young people. And I'm going like, to only all do of, the sound of music at a community It's for all type of people. Theater. It's for all oh, yeah. type of people. <laughs> it's, 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 for, it's for any brand of bleeding and <laughs> breathing. Yeah, yeah, right. If you have some positive that you want to share for a nation, it's, be a voice for a nation. Right. If you have something you want to share, something you want to promote, something that's positive, Something that can keep it going. That's a voice for everybody. I don't everybody. know when I keep sing about going. like I honestly. You just, you can't one of my lyrics back. says, "I need a hard She's man." She's a beautiful person. One, will y'all two, tell her? Who can satisfy my She's appetite? Strong. A big and hard man who can handle <laughs> this thing. But she tonight. sings real. Well, we can weird. make her it's your weird. own. Here's the thing, though. Sad. She sings real. She sings you real you know when we can make Nicki Minaj makes that shit up, or she has nine other people, people writing this shit. Right. Kelly runs in and she's like, "I know nothing but this." <laughs> ding, 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 ding. I got her. She Bam. Got she's done. But I actually, and I'm gonna report right now. I'm gonna say that I do have an 18 year old of my very own, and he's amazing. Like I raised a kid who's. Yeah. Open minded yet respectful and cool yeah. and yeah. like people would think that a girl in the adult industry and somebody who yeah. had you know that would have done a, 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 a worse job. In a sense. Yeah. I've done a fabulous. Oh yeah, job. I've shot myself in the Big back. Job. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn good kid. Right. <laughs> so, and that's like I said, that would be a cool so little story that she could model. tell. It's because a lot of people, plan. it's like, can you share do your story? Can <laughs> share that? It's people that need to hear that and know that they can do that. Right. You know, and we have an app now. We are an app. Royal Talk is in the app now. It's Android so and it's here. free. Royal it's free. Talk. Look for Royalty Publishing on Google Facebook. Play? You can connect with Royal Talk, my books, any of that. We've if never you're had on a Facebook talk. with Royalty <laughs> Publishing. We got the wolves going crazy. Now. We have a dog the behind us. We've never had going. that happen. Yeah, I, they cool. never let their dogs out. They're home. The dog has a night. story. <laughs> I know. I know. I, <laughs> the neighborhood must just love The us. wolves are out. Exactly. I think they. I'm gonna keep my lips tight on this right at this yeah. moment. <laughs> we like it. We like our little neighborhood. It's nice. I love it. I love it. I'm definitely gonna delve into these. Yeah. Sure. I do. I want you to. And I'm and and to. listen. I, on my website, you can review, talk. We have conversations about it. Interact with me. I love people to interact with me. How, what's online. the URL to that? Where people the can URL, interact? I'm t- writings by Ronye. Spell you W R I T I N G S B Y R O N Y A E. There you go. If you Google that, my website's a pop up. I have columns. I've been. I'm a freelance journalist. I so who have columns. you written for, like magazine wise and stuff oh, like that? The Michigan <laughs> Chronicle. Uh, um, oh my goodness! Don't take me there. That makes That's me all right. think back too far. But you really. Uh, but <laughs> I'm most recent within Michigan because I've I've been in several states. Right, right, right. Um, right. I've lived in Atlanta right before I returned back to Michigan. What do you like better? So, what the yeah. south? Atlanta? I love the south. Yeah, yeah. I love the south. I'd no, rather Alabama. Be in Atlanta. Alabama is where the root of my family. I love that. Yeah. Atlanta, no. When yeah. I really, Atlanta I'd rather, was would you rather be in Detroit no, no though? I'd wow. rather be in Atlanta. I, that's why I'm in Detroit. Atlanta. I would. I'm really? back. If the weather was good, I love here, but the no, was. Atlanta gives you weather just like here. Yeah. Um, and when I got to Atlanta, the way that things were mm-hmm. at the time, at mm-hmm. that time, I said, I could be in Michigan. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. could live back in Detroit. Mm-hmm. That was ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it was just, yeah. It My fellas are down there. They got, a, they, got a, they got a studio down there. They, they love it. They, they got down there. But you, it's, it's, it's good for the comfort of Southern living on certain aspects. Yeah. But is so many people from up north who have migrated down <laughs> right, there right, right. till it's 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 home. Yeah. You go down <laughs> there like and see thing. your neighbor. Right, right, right. right. No, it's, it's true. I got stuck in the Atlanta with. bus station for uh, about five days straight when Did I was 18. You? Oh, yeah. What's Coming home from Florida. Days. No, I had no money. I was scrounging. I, like... This is the worst. Oh, wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. The Atlanta Real bus fake. station? I was Atlanta. snowed in. Yeah. And That's I my like, last name. What? Snowed in. Oh, oh yeah. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but they never get yeah. snowed yeah. in. <laughs> but no, I spent my last money. There was a, a Burger King that was in the place, and I spent my last money on that. And uh, then I tried to buy a bag of weed off to somebody, and I got it. I paid, like, my last $10 for it. I was like, weed, yes. It was like uh, parsley or something. <laughs> like totally messed You up. wasted <laughs> your money. Yep. And See, then it was stuck why. there for a couple more days, and they were bringing in blankets, and they had like vegetables and like fruit for everybody. It was awful. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they it was a learning take care of people. Yeah. They did. When I, I, I did an, an expose on homelessness, for uh, like a newspaper for freelance uh-huh. that I wanted to work with. Yeah. And they, the city of Atlanta actually fed me every day, was able to give me bus vouchers to go places, wow. to find they were nice jobs, to me too. I was gave me shelter for home, to sleep at night. And a blanket I had they a take care of people. <laughs> Public assistance, <laughs> people, you, you wouldn't be a. You, Get take advantage of your public assistance. Yeah. Wherever you go, go somewhere for public assistance. It's there for you. You th- use it. Yeah. yeah. You can be taken care of twenty four hours a day. Yeah. 
roof over your head, fed, bus vouchers, all of that. Huh. Yes, you can. Don't take advantage of it. No. Like, misuse it, but use yeah. it for your well-being because they do. Atlanta takes very well. Now, have you learned through the magazine people. and just writing and stuff a lot more about people's cultures and just different things, obviously? Well, no, I just like sharing the news and sharing yeah. other people's stories. Do you share a lot of your stories or you just No, not? I like sharing other people's yeah. stories. Yeah, yeah. I like for everybody to come to me and bring me there so I can put it out there so other people can see theirs. Because like a lot of people want to know what I know. Now I'm going to go out there I'm, and punch that dog yeah. in the fucking Where well, I'm about yeah, exactly. to get it. <laughs> I'm about to you get it. You know what's going on. You I'm about know. to get her done, man. She probably been somewhere. She done seen somebody. There's something going on. Right, and, right. and we've been around for, we're celebrating royalty for seven years. Wow. Okay. Happy, seven years. Happy seven years royalty. Woo! Happy seven years royalty. It's a girl in seven. So, nice. you know, so we've been helping people showcase and share themselves and their expertise, Hi. their creativity, hey, their passion, you know, for right. seven years. And that's what we did. Wow. And we that's all I want to help other of, people. Yeah. And then you had we're not life. looking we're not looking at that no. We're we're not looking to do anything but help other people to get out that's there. That's good. And, and now the reason we met you is because of Snow Bunny. Speaking of snow people. Snow right. Bunny. I, oh, snow I love people. Snow Bunny. The I love beautiful it. Snow oh, Bunny. And now we want to give a shout out there. And she won yes. the hip hop battle. She won the yes. hip hop battle. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Congratulations. No, no. Beautiful yeah, snow bunny. Yeah. Yeah. She's so, such an awesome person. Yeah, she's so cute. Now have you yeah. been there? I know you called in one. We day. were I, I went for the Vinnie Rico show. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right after hers. Uh this month, maybe the beginning of this month, right. maybe. Right. He's a good time uh -huh. too. Oh, I love Vinny. Shout out for Vinny. Yeah, Vinny. I do, yeah. <laughs> I had a good time. I love them. They're they're great, positive people. You know, moving forward, doing positive things, connecting, and still they're 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 not just sitting still. I've said this before, they're like moving. when I've done the Vinny Rico show, I, or like when I'm over there in Washington. Oh, yeah, and stuff, yeah, like, I was there. But no, right? like every time he's he sees anything, he's so like, yeah, <laughs> he isn't he like so happy, and I love that about him. He's so enthusiastic, and he's genuinely his enthusiastic. It's not is, fake. His, his <laughs> energy is. Yeah, he's real about that. He's like, and he's seen a lot of stuff too. It's funny because he's been grew up in like some crazy shit. And I just love that. I call him Big. I call him Big Papa. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. They were shaving his head the other day with that pussy whip. Oh wow! Madeline was on there and they shaved his head. That's good stuff. This last this last Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I missed it because I had an event. Oh wow! Yeah. So they keep me rolling. They yeah, they do. He right. has books too, cause remember he he was trying to read his little version. Oh uh, yeah. When I was there, oh Vinny. I Should we him. have a book off? Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, exactly. Uh, I always take a page. You know, book off. You know oh, what? Oh. Vinny might be the red more than you. Vinny, oh. how much have you read? Yeah. Are you through with the first? Are you through with this book, Vinny? Uh oh, Vinny book. Uh, have you made it to this book, Vinny? <laughs> You're being called oh, out, Vinny Rico. Oh, are you through with this book, Vinny? What? Vinny, They're about to start, Vinny. Vinny. About to have a book off. That's right. Vinny, I'm going to call up one of my girlfriends they and have to read it to me. Hey, hey, a book off the Vinny Rico show. And then we're going to have a cook off. That's right. Oh, that would be awesome. We're going to book off and then cook off. Oh, I'm ready for yeah. that. Yeah. I know you're real kind because you even gave me a bookmark to oh, go with. Oh, yep, I did. Look at yes, that. I did. Yes, I, I got a bookmark to yes, go with. Yes, I did. Well, thank you very much it. for Stick coming on the show once again. Great. Website again, Great. real quick. Yes. Love you guys. Your website, real quick. Real quick. One more time. Into the camera. Website. Royalty Publishing. Royalty Publishing. Check it out. Facebook. Facebook. Right here. Right. Woo! Thank you very much. <laughs> Has anybody guessed our mystery skull tonight? We have no Can clue. Because our girls are out there in we didn't cyberspace. The we didn't We're about to do that one. We're going to do that one. Yeah, okay. we're going to do that one. Just, this is my real along. hair, by the way. This is why I never wear my real hair, because it's like this. This is my real hair, too. Reckless abandon.
Whoa. It's so luxurious. Oh my god, it's still there after 40, <laughs> 46 lovely years. I smelled it. Oh my god. It smells right. like weed. It, is, it smells good. It doesn't smell bad. Smell like good. <laughs> By the way, real quick, like though, explain this one real quick. What, what is this? Oh, there's a nipple! Oh my god! He got. No, I don't care. But oh. he got. Oh, we'll no, I'm on the uh, right. I'm on the cover of <laughs> Tricked Out magazine, and what's funny is I just talked to him today, and he posted this picture on Facebook, and right off the bat, within maybe because I have so many haters, <laughs> right. Right. right off the bat, there was like somebody who reported it within right. three minutes, right. maybe. Meanwhile, I've got a picture Bam. on my Facebook. This chick bent over and her nipples straight up hanging out. And they never report so, me. So no. It no. came, I posted it from his page, like right. I, I, you know, shared it. Right. He's kicked off for like a month. Yeah. He called you, me today, he's like, I'm still not on Facebook. Yeah. I'm still kicked off because of the nipple. I was like, I thought it was my finger. I yeah. didn't even know it was a nipple. I know, I don't even recognize it's a it. I didn't even. little nipple. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a problem with nudity or nipples. No. Speaking of this weekend, we'll be there. Motor, Motor City Socials will be there somewhere. Yeah! Somewhere in a room. I'll be crawling around like, woo! Exactly. It's, a, it's a Mardi Gras theme. Oh, that's right. i got to get my Mardi Gras fucking I don't out. really have anything. I'll but I'm it was gonna, this. I'm kind of going to make something. Like, I'm going to take a mask and, like, add things. Oh, or, there you, you go. You know, yeah. I'm not going to, like, spend money, but I'm going to make it wonderful. There you go. I had the perfect mask, and I lost it. Oh, I don't know who I'm going to see. Who the hell knows? At the Mardi Gras ball. You may see me. Who knows? All right, the third, <laughs> the third mystery <laughs> skull clue for the night All right. is, for the month of March, his beaver will have a touch of Irish in it. That's right. For the month of <laughs> March, his beaver will have a touch of Irish in it. Irish. You have just Irish, Irish in, in it. it. A little so touch Irish. of Irish in it. So if you know who the Irishman is, <laughs> if you know who he is, once again. We'll give you the two clues before that. He's, He's the, the biggest, biggest letter in the alphabet. In Detroit, mind you. His favorite animal is the beaver. That's right, the beaver. And finally. For the month of March, his beaver will have a touch of the Irish in it. Lucky Irish. us. Lucky us. <laughs> Not the lucky fucking charms we are. <laughs> yes, once again, if you know who the mystery skull is tonight, all you have to do is get on the Facebook. You know who he is and put it out there. We got... Well, we got hustler passes if you want the hustler passes. We got some posters, and we also have, probably have some of his merchandise too. If you so just want to feel my boobs, we can make that happen. Make it make our boobs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Where'd that come from? Cadre, how you doing over there? You guys ready? Doing great. All right, well, I'm gonna let you guys come in here. I'm gonna take a break because I know there's a whole bunch of you. Then I'm gonna scoot back in. Kelly, I'm gonna let you take over from here. Cadre. Oh my goodness, you're gonna be in the house right now. Right, Kadra! 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 That's right, my fault, Kadra. Kadra, my fault, Kadra. That's not Kadra, it's Kadra. Alright, once again, Kadra is in the house right now. Come on in, fellas, circle in this way. Everybody still calls you Kadre, but it's Kadra. We're gonna get that straight. It's C A D R E, not Dre, but Dra. I would think it's Kadre. But it's Kadra. No, we were talking about that in, <coughs> over there in your green room. All right. So I guess if there's a, um, a Dre, there'd be a little accent on the end of it. Wherever you guys are going to That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy can it we up. slide that chair in? I'm sorry. Can we bounce you over here? Oh, yeah. All right, yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. We want to kind of slide in. Yeah, guys. Know, a couple guys What's going on, baby? How you been? I'm fine. How are you? Same, you? As always. Yeah. Oh, hey. Hi. Got this Hello. How are you? Something like that. Good. How are you? Good. No, you need. You, we we need to yeah, we gotta, move in. Yeah, you gotta. Look at cheese squeeze in there. Hold on. I got, hold on. I got this. Careful. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Just Bring beat it up. Bring the house down. Who's laughing? Can I have the booze <laughs> in the camera or no? Booze yeah. Booze will go in the camera. Right? Yeah. Sometimes I'm sponsored oh, by. Oh, it's fine. Or, yeah. Or sweet. Whoever. You know. <laughs> I should have. We should have a sponsorship with Coors. The band should. We drink more clothes than anybody yeah, in Michigan. I drink clothes mostly. Tonight, I am drinking the Regiment of Bud Light. Well, yeah. That's what they gave to me. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we donated a couple cores in there somewhere, too. So, so when you run out of beer, go, oh, shit, Kajra left those cores. <laughs> so, real quick, we're happy to be on the fucking dungeon, of Yeah, course. I want to I wanna hear about, I mean, I talked to you before about your other band, so I need to hear no. about this band. Well, this is Robbie. 
He's, uh, Hi, Robbie! Yeah, she hates you. when I say it, but Robbie's the lead guitar player in the band. Uh, we got Hippie down there, he's bass. How you doing? Jeez. And that's Sheezy down there. He's a uh, rhythm guitar. So, and I'm, you know me, I'm Johnny. I'm, I know you. I'm the singer. I'm so, a proud what up, though. So I know, obviously, about your other project. Now, this project, what makes us so different and um, well, unique from what you were doing? Our, actually, our, album, our EP is finally done, and Detroit Dungeon is going to get the first sneak peek <gasps> for anybody that's here. We bought a couple brought a couple tracks to play. Oh my goodness. Oh, so yeah, believe it or not, Detroit oh Dungeon gets goodness. the first the first Perfect. listen, so yeah! hopefully they're not going to pay attention. <laughs> but um, we've been together for about a year, and, and the difference is, you know, in the other project, it's really aggressive, really hardcore. Yeah. Um, Kadra is just really good hard rock. You know, we, we write about shit that matters, and we deliver, you know, it's um it's a really driven hard rock is what it is. I wouldn't say a metal band. A lot, lot, of, a lot of melody, though. Yeah. A lot of melody. When you hear it, you'll be like, "Holy shit!" How did you guys so collaborate? Yeah. Like, how did you meet each we're other? We're all we're all remaining pieces of different bands that were around. Yeah. And, our band you know, makes up. Yeah, our band makes up what? Sean Chaos and I theory, have been together fucking, for years, and um, you know, we just come on. Stellar yeah, Drive. You remember Stellar, Stellar Drive? Yeah. The band Stellar Drive. Yeah. That was Cheesy and and Robbie and Hippie had um Faxture. Faxture yep. was pretty yep. big in the I got Detroit scene. Yeah. 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 Well, I wanted a band, and it worked out. That's awesome. So, <laughs> so when you guys have practices, is it like uh, work or is it fun? Yeah, but it's fun. I mean, it's, I just said yeah, we should yeah, have a quarter sponsorship. Right? We, get, you <laughs> <should>. <laughs> we get fucking we get fucking hammered. Me. We get hammered. <laughs> Robbie smokes. Robbie smokes well, weed we, that'll we cripple a horse. So. Sneak in. Nice sneak in. You can sit here. You want to sit? You gonna leave with me? I'm gonna pee in a second. You're gonna pee. She's gonna pee yeah. in a second. You had scared ah, I'm gonna get down on my car. Hey, you know what I wanted to say real quick? What? Before we keep going. We can't get him in there, just so you Where'd know. Where'd Rania go? Ron, it's it's Rania, Rania, right? Right there, Rania. Listen, we were on the Vinny Rico show together. Oh, no. Me and you. Oh, I was promoting yeah. the other project. I remember that. Yeah, so that so was funny. I remembered your name when, when, when they were trying to pronounce your name. I said, oh shit, I remember. I did. You were on Vinny Rico. And I remember that works out. Yeah, that was just, yeah, that was just, yeah. So it was good to see you again, baby. And I, I remember the, the publishing we company too. We and I also oh, wanted to say that I think the picture of this dude, it's just VJ with no makeup. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he looks like when he doesn't have the get up on. <laughs> I'm a little less tan. Uh, That's awesome. Yeah. So. Yeah, um, you guys were promoting the Hard Edge second anniversary yeah, show. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, um, let's talk God, a little we're, about that. We're, we're headlining the uh, the Hard Rock stage because there's a metal and Hard Rock stage. Okay. So we're playing the theater room. I think we go on at what? Uh, 10, 11 40. 10 40. 11 or what? 11 40. 11 40. Okay. 11 40 so, 12 um, Yeah, that should be cool. That's so you guys got a good spot. That's yeah. a good thing. So, yeah. uh, Obviously, being kind of new in the game, but you've been around, obviously, different yeah. bands and yeah. spawned off on shit like that. That's mm -hmm. cool that you guys can kind of kind of step in and be able to get good billing spots, so to speak. Yep. And it's good, well, man. I you mean, know, we've paid our dues. We've been around the block a long time. And, right. Um, you know, it just comes from playing shows and grinding it out and, you, you know, supporting other bands and getting uh, to know people. Yeah. And, oh, you got, you got the tracks? Yeah, if you want to pull oh, it yeah. in there while we're yeah, talking about it real quick. Yeah, you know? things are going good, man. It's only been a little bit over a year, and um, we've got a lot of attention. Yeah. And um, our shows get bigger and better every time we play. Yeah. Um, I'm with, and you know what's crazy, too? I was just talking about uh, being on Vinnie Rico with Ron. Uh -huh. I think the um, what the, the other cat, um, the, what's, what, what's the name? Jeremiah. What's the name? Jeremiah. Yeah, Jeremiah first. We, I think we played a show with you. Yeah, we played Zach Which Meyer Zach together, Meyer. you know? Yeah. Oh, there you go, so. We were in your green room talking oh, about that, too. That crazy? My bass player was like, man, we played the Zach Meyer show with him. <laughs> yeah, wow, well, that shit worked out. Dude, so we're all together had, and connected oh, in different we, ways. Well, Isn't that weird? We, that we had, all showed up we here at the same We have had the night. most unique experiences on this show. We had some guy... Steve Miller was his name. First of all, Steve Miller. Okay, he was on our right. show. We had That's Steve awesome. Miller. Okay, first of all, on our show. Steve Miller is a writer. Uh, he does like these uh, big like uh, detective novel kind of things. Right. And he also does photography, and yep. he's around. The, he also wrote the book uh, about Detroit and stuff like that. Okay. It's, uh, Detroit Rock City or something like that. Anyhow, comes in. He starts talking to our friend Josh O'Brien, who's uh, in the service, and he's like, "Oh my God." 
my son, my dad and your dad kind of knew each other when we were kids. They were hanging out as kids and shit like that. They're like, they were like almost like family things going on. Like, damn, that's crazy shit. But hey, you gotta love Detroit for that, man. You know, pretty eclectic little uh, thing guys, going on. You know, you never know when you're going. So everybody knows everybody somehow. That's one of the most beautiful parts about being in the music scene and the yeah. and the and the you know the the doing it yourself and some type of art scene in general. You know? Right. We all know each other in one way or another, and right. we always bump into each other, and that's that's one of the cool things about right. the scene that we have going on, I think. Right, so we're going to pronounce it correct. It is Kadra. 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 Okay, <laughs> the name Kadra. Give us a little bit of background on this name here, because obviously well, it's uh, it's like a little bit of like Queens, right? Well, I can feel no, that in this. that. this, yeah. Right? <laughs> dig right? this, though. Right? We, we need the, we, there's a few different definitions for it. So we've been together a little over a year. Okay. And for that whole time, up until not too long ago, I've been telling people the wrong definition. Okay. One of these guys told me that one of the definitions was... So me saying the name wasn't that bad. Well, no. Well, okay. I'm just saying. I tell well, people, really. people okay. that's the first thing people say. Well, Cadre, Cadre, either way, what the fuck does it mean? Right, right, right. You know, there's a definition for right, it. Here so we go. It's the first I, time. Here's here. mine. Okay. 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 Somewhere, okay. somebody told me that Cadre stood for the framework of which the military was built upon. Huh. And I thought that was awesome. So <laughs> I, would, I would tell people right. about the new... Yeah. Yeah. Right. I would tell I would tell people about the new it's, band and just wait for him to go, what does it mean? I was like stoked to tell him, well, you know, it's fucking awesome. America! You know what I mean? And then one of these guys said, no, dude, that's the total wrong meaning. Yeah, really? Fuck. All right, so go ahead. Anyways. Oh, well, well, it's well, not, I mean, it's... Well, that's called, my, my cousin who was in the army. His okay, first of all, who thought of it? Who, I one? actually came up with okay. this guy. Okay, so you're sitting around thinking, what's going to be the most fucked up name I can think that I've ever heard of? Dude, we just were throwing names <laughs> <just were throwing laughs> around. Okay, so go ahead. Here, but we booked this show and didn't have a name. Because <laughs> Winger was already taken. <laughs> well, yeah. that's part of it. Well, that's an amazing band name. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't get Arrowhead. <laughs> <Arizona. laughs> <laughs> Couldn't get Arrowhead. No, Why did you call it? Exactly. Metal. It's metal. Okay, go ahead. We're going to give you your five seconds. All right. Spell it. All right. What's the real definition? I love it. Well, like you said, it's it's a framework. Not necessarily, it doesn't necessarily have to be the military, but what it is, is it's a group of like-minded people all united for a common goal. All right. You know, and so basically, well, you know, we wanted cool. to come out and, you know, really kind of, you know, give the people the, you know, the good hard rock with the big riffs and, you know, solid drums, but have the melodies in there and really... Give people hooks, those earworms, those right. things that stick in your head. Right. And, you know, we play with a lot of bands. There's a lot of real talent out there. But, you know, there's a kind of a lack of, uh, you know, people, not necessarily musicianship, but, uh, uh, you know. Unity uh, isn't on the, the scene right now. Well, just to have, yeah. uh, the whole cohesive yeah. thing. And, you know, <clears throat> a lot of bands are struggling in Detroit right now. And, you know, I think I a lot of bands. Unity, honestly, I see the unity in the hip-hop community. You do, together. you do. Okay. In the rock scene, it's they're a little different, to, right, you know. Exactly. Well, I, I think, they're all trying to help each other. And well, I think part of it, what it is, is is everybody. So, well, everybody looks at everybody else as competition exactly. because everybody's so hungry. Yeah. Right. You know, but what they don't realize is if we had a little bit of solidarity going on, if we had everybody trying to lift each other up instead of being like crabs in a bucket. Pulling everybody oh, else down, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, this whole yeah. scene could take off again, yeah, just like yeah. it did before. You know, I yeah. mean, Kid Rock brought it back. Eminem, you know, they put Detroit on the map, but I mean, other than that, I mean, it's really, you know, things have kind of fizzled out. And as far as like mm -hmm. rock bands go, there's not a real defined scene anymore. You know, it's just kind of everybody going which way, but everybody's kind of looking out for themselves. But if we can band everybody together. We could all maybe, you know, get up out of this bird. I don't know how to get into the niche of people anymore. I study, you know, what's going on on the Facebook and, uh, like, on the Internet. It seems like everybody wants force-fed, cheesy. Yeah. Like, so how do you tap into the people that really want good music? Well, I mean, <laughs> all you need to do is bangers. Oh, yeah, a lot of them do, and that's a problem. All you I mean, can, you can well, I mean, for no. forty nine ninety nine, you can have Facebook boost your post. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, fucking <laughs> Facebook <laughs> ass. Hey, it's so cheesy that they don't care as long as it's catchy. That's the part I want. 
Right. They, well, uh, a lot of them don't. They don't. They don't care about what even half the time the song sounds like. It's what you know. What is the what is the, the chorus or what catches radio. you or. You I don't know, ever I don't either. Yeah, either. it's it's tough it's, to uh, listen to the radio now. It's, it's, it. it's rough, but especially when you're Come on in. artists around here. Yeah, you listen to that radio, you're like, why can't I be doing that shit? That shit. That oh yeah, that's, that's fucking. That's, that's why we have shows like this so we can be promoting folks, yeah. man, and radio exactly. shows. And man. We appreciate it. Yeah. Exactly. That's why we're here. That's, that's, that's why we're exactly here. why we're here. We're talking yeah. about uh, what are we talking about? Talking about Saturday, here, Hard Edge. Actually, now that the album's done. Don't worry about it. Oh, We're all men here, boys. That's right. Well, so, you can't <laughs> read. That's cute. so I love Hard Edge Radio. Oh, yeah, like, that's cool. Yeah, um, Howie. Howie's a really good guy. He's a trying great to, guy. Trying to support not, everybody not that's out there trying to, to make some noise in this town, you know? Yeah. Just like Dungeon and everybody else. I'm excited Everybody's... for the music awards again. I am too. Because you know I what? felt like when I was there, I, I had never been there before, and I felt like this is a platform. This is a cool platform, oh. like for all of us to get to know each other, and like people who aren't known are gonna be known, mm-hmm. and like people who weren't interviewed are gonna be interviewed, and it was kind of like this big melting pot of cool. Yeah, it was cool. And I'm excited. Cool. It's coming up. I know. It's coming up. <laughs> we got We're some going good right? pictures last year. Ah, I'm going know, right? Oh yeah. yeah. I was hammered though. Are you guys I, I can't believe the flame works. Not so good, huh? Um, I don't know. We have, I, I, we have, I don't know if I've checked. The I have the Can we have to ask you because we ask everybody? Is that the most confusing website you'll ever be on for voting? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty yeah a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we love that. I would definitely <laughs> recommend that they fix yeah. the system. Yeah. It's okay, really you confusing. Are. There's a, you know what? I don't really want. I don't want to get into it and because right, right, right. I love the DMAs. Yeah, but but the there's a, there's a lot of flaws that they still have to work out. Well, and in my opinion, in the last six years of being a part of the DMAs, there's a lot of flaws in their voting system yeah. And, yeah. And, and qualifications. Only because we love the people so much, we want to make sure because it, it adds, well, it, I it steps people up. I get and I right? have to vote you know? in certain, well, I don't have to vote in certain categories, but I, I have all these selections, and it's like I, I go in and I, I seem to select like who I've heard of and not really who yeah. I, you know. You don't, that's another thing too. You don't know half the people. No, right. And then <laughs> what right. I want to know is like, some. Oh, I, I've heard uh, of them, so I'm going to vote. Not, not saying that, you know, everybody's <laughs> well, sitting they at should, this like, table. Well, they should maybe set it up to where there's a link. If you see a band, your you maybe want to check them out, yeah, click right, on it, you right. can hear them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? Speaking of which, let's hear your stuff. For you. All right, yeah. all right. Yeah. If you guys are ready, yeah. we'll, uh, I'm, you in a chair. No, I'm not ready. No, I am ready. No, I'm okay. ready. No, I'm ready. <laughs> all right, what do you want to give them this one? Um, yeah, yeah, you might as well. Now, this is the first time we're hearing this, right? Yeah, this is the first time we're hearing this. I mean, except live. Are you happy? Yeah, it turned out to be good. It took a long time to get it done, but now that it's done, we're we're happy with it, so. But yeah, this is an exclusive. So, all right, here we go. Cool. Uh, this is called "Begging for More." Is it gonna come on? I don't know. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I looking at you. Is it plugged in? Is yeah. it gonna? Yeah. Get, I, I, is no, it? I don't think it is, bro. Oh, oh I'm plugged in here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm glad job. I said that. Yeah. Like I was like, is it gonna come on? Yeah, exactly. Here, hold on. No, oh, all right. Panic was starting to spread. Exactly. <laughs> it ain't the phone. That's new. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, we're still live, right? Yeah. 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 Hi everybody. So, that is watching. This is Kadra begging for more. The first track. Kadra off, begging for more. Off the, off the nation and EP. Turn it up, though. Available oh, okay. April nineteenth. Oh yeah. Is it playing? Nope. Ain't playing. Yet. Here we go. Go ahead. It's going. It is? Yeah. What the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> what kind of fucking ship are we <laughs> running here? Yeah, exactly. I'm, hold on. No, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, know just fucking with them. I'm like, shh. Uh, it's not good. We're going to figure this out in a second. Yeah. He's going to fuck around. Gonna but gonna so, in yeah, the meanwhile, probably, like. I got something. So you got these guys, and right. you just formed this band, and you wrote some music. Okay, there we go. Try and not hit it. All right. Here we go. Thank you. Third time's a charm, huh? Hopefully. Oh. There, you go. there it is. There we go. Sorry, folks. World exclusive. Cow drop the nation. EP. So we're still live. Yeah. So we can talk. We every, can commentary. Every, everybody's just like hanging out, watching us jam. Yeah. Uh, y'all in your living room. What up, though? Get up. No. <laughs> <laughs> Do the pajama dance! I like that picture too, that's actually 
I can't tell what it is. It looks That's like a copy of some thicker on a female's chest. Okay, I thought that was titty. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, Robbie likes it. Metro 37. So next show, where's it at? Next show is Saturday, Hard Edge, second anniversary, yeah. out at Diesel in Chesterfield. Um, we're headlining the rock stage. There's a lot of good bands on that. It's going to be fucking cool. I'm stoked for the worst of. Those guys are gnarly. Check them out. Probably one of my perks of that evening cool. in general. And, yeah. then, um, and then April 19th, we're doing our CD release out at Detroit Pub. It's almost... Yeah, yeah, almost 420. <laughs> oh, no doubt. No, 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 no. yeah. yeah, the 19th. It'll, it'll be at, once it turns midnight, so yeah. we're catching oh, a right for right off the <laughs> yeah. 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 But yeah. Good job. We're doing that. We're doing that out of Detroit Pub. We got some good bands on that. Seven Ways West. Um, um, why am I drawing a blank what? here? Uh, Monday's Lie. Steal Your Medicine. Um, we might throw another one on there, but that's going to be awesome. That's our CD release. Cover's going to be 10 bucks, but when you come in, you get a, a disc when you pay for your cover. So so you get to come to the show and get a CD for 10 bucks. You know, nice. So that'll be sweet. And it's our Woo! CD release. It's going to be sick, so hopefully Looks everybody sick. comes out. Yeah. Expect to see you there. When April 19th, you got more than enough time to pencil your calendar. Saturday. 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 I have no life. <laughs> I know. So, I have no life. If I had a life, I'd be like, I'll be there. She's got no life. We're going to be at a swingers party on Saturday. How many people? I run a bachelor party service, but it's most we likely works on the weekend. We don't go KJ. <laughs> you guys are closed, though. I would never not come purposely. I would come. You got that one day. You got that one day. I love it. Yeah. So. Posha, there you go, live, there you go, love it. All right, first. It was live. <laughs> that was awesome. So, was but yeah, I think we're running short on time. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are awesome. So we are Kadra. Come out Saturday. Plug, plug, plug away. Plug away. Well, plug away. Kadra on Facebook. Yeah. That's these guys. www.kadraband.com. Real quick. C A D R E B A N D. There's no DJ in our band. There's no DJ in our band. Twitter at Kadra. Band. Uh, Facebook is facebook.com slash Kadra Detroit. I can't believe one of us knows all I like Kadra Band. I'm the one who runs them. Sounds like Kadra Band. Somebody's got to. Somebody's got to. Somebody's got to. And we're, we're playing Saturday at Chesterfield at Diesel for Thank Hard Edge Anniversary, second, second year anniversary. Like that shit. That's um, right. The Nation EP will be available April 19th, Detroit Pub, for our CD release party. Come check that out. Um, another than that, fucking Detroit Dungeon fucking rocks. Thank what? you. Thank you, guys. It was a pleasure to be here. I love you guys. Thank you, Eddie. Woo! All right. Thank you guys. Thank you, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, baby. Yeah. Thank you, baby. Uh, we're gonna go back in your green room and drink beer and smoke pot. Yeah, our green room. I like being called that. Green room. It makes sense. That's. I know now it makes sense. It does make sense. The green room. The real green room. So we we've had a very successful show tonight. Hey. Yes. Hey. Hey. You guys have a good time, so. all right? Thanks for dropping by. I don't think we're gonna get to another happy song though, because we got one more guest. But hey. It, we could at the very end. At the very end. Possible. Awesome. Frankenstein um, wants to come back and say goodbye. Frank is a badass. I love you, Frankie. Come here. Come here, puppy. Kiss me. Puppy. He's, like, oh, no. he's a good dog. He's such a good dog. Anyways, right. we've had a great time. I love yeah. this, but we do. Gotta get to mystery our mystery skull. skull. So One more time for the clues. Given, right. We've given out the clues before. But I definitely feel like we should throw them out one more time. Just to be fair. <laughs> just to be fair. Like, You're curious. <laughs> Who is it? I know I'm we curious. are. Sometimes we don't even know. Could it be Jack White? I'm curious. 
Sanders. Could it be Larry Fink? Somebody Fink? from Detroit, could and if you're be, watching, could be you'll Larry win. Is he like, he's in the beaver. <laughs> All right. All right. He has the biggest letter in the alphabet. Let's put the skull on him and bring him in. His favorite animal is, is the, the beaver. beaver. Yeah. For the month of March, his beaver will have a touch of Irish in it. That's right. So you can see the whole beaver phrase and the whole theme going on here. <laughs> yeah. Right, slide over here. <laughs> Come on in. All right. Hold you on. ready? Let me lose this. Oh. This is, this is oh, bad. It's bad. It's bad. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> uh, Hold on. Got it? No. All right. Oh. <laughs> there he is. Gangster. 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 Yeah. Oh. So you were sitting around your house smoking weed and you were saying, I love the beaver, I gotta put it on a t-shirt. No, actually, nah? kind of like what happened was, um, I started up this thing, a uh, little blog, it was uh, Big B's Beaver Management Tour. Okay. Yeah. And uh, it was basically like just it, like all my travels, okay. wherever I went, you know, I take pictures, post them, blog about them, whatever. But then, you know, there was no catchy name for the website. So uh, one day, my homeboy DJ Zigzag had put a post up. He worked for a company called Beaver Defense. And he said, it ain't easy managing Beaver, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> so I started thinking about this. I put it in play, and I sat in a room, like he said, and chilling, boom. came up with Love the Beaver. And uh, then, you know, everybody seen the logo. They were like, wow, that's pretty cool. And we started throwing some parties and doing some promotions and things like that. And just one thing led to another. And then four years later, here we are. Nice. I love the beaver. Everybody I love loves the beaver. Oh, yeah. sure. Now, the reason we yeah, mentioned right. the Irish because you have an Irish beaver out there right now. If you get a chance, go on to Facebook or... Yep, on the Irish Facebook. Irish beaver shirt. So, uh, you can search us on Twitter, Facebook, all that. Love the beaver, Instagram. Um, all the logos are there, but we have different themed beavers. All the logos. There's cowboys. There's pimpstress beavers. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen them. I haven't, oh, yeah, I did see pimpstress beavers. Yeah. You got, uh, yeah. There's all kinds of different things. I like this one. Right? I like this this is the original one with the D. We got the DJ one with the headphones, uh, the rock star one with the mohawk. I mean, I made I made up quite a few of them for different themes so we could use them for parties, for different, you know, marketing for bands, marketing for DJs to help promote everything. You know, you got to have a little different spin on it. I got it's been good. So, you know, we, I we, see that everyone around, knows yeah. the beaver. Yeah. You know, and then I, we just try to, like, have a good time with everybody, everything. You know, everywhere we go, we want everybody to come out, have a good time, know that mm -hmm. we don't judge anybody. We're all there to have a good time. Most of the people are been coming for a while. They're friends. They make new friends. Right. And uh, it just turned out like to be a good event, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what they say. You got to keep the beaver all <laughs> Satisfied. <laughs> Satisfied. Satisfied. That's a Satisfied good is a good word. <laughs> so. so now you got some big stuff coming up for opening day and also uh, St. Patrick's Day. Uh, where at? Oh, yeah. Yep. Bruce McGregor's? Or yep. No, I'll be at, uh, well, it starts off uh, Sunday. I leave to go with Mark. Oh yeah, so you're gonna have yeah, a good cruise. You're going on the cruise. Yeah, I do. Uh, I work. I work with Mark. Work kind of sucks. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then I get back from that. Then we're gonna have uh, O'Shaughnessy and Moose's Martini in Dearborn. Oh, I'll Moose's be Martini. back okay. and forth there with the uh, St. Patty's Day party all day, and then uh, after that, of course, uh, Chelly's opening day, the biggest party in Detroit. <laughs> Tiger's opening day is gonna be off the hook. Isn't it? Monday. It's in March. That's the day when everybody's your friend. Oh yeah, like my phone, <laughs> like my phone will be broke exactly. three days out. If you need to get a hold of me, call me exactly. before that. Exactly. Because I don't like knows. that day because I always know that day that I'm gonna be fucked up by like three. Yeah. And I don't yeah. like it. Yeah. yeah, it happens. I've seen him fucked up way earlier than that, though, Kelly. Trust me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We always run into each other. He's always got the so same much. look of frustration after. Yeah, I got, I got this guy talking to me this way, telling yeah. me how bad he needs to get in. I got the guy in my earpiece telling me why I need to be somewhere else. Exactly. And then I got my actual friends that I want to try to get in, right. like oh, trying no. to fight through the crowd to get to me. Right, right, right. I got my party bus down there with a bunch of people 
people. Yeah, <laughs> well, you know, we always run into each other. Oh, yeah, it's always a fun time seeing you guys running around downtown. And then, uh, what else? Anything else with the B logo? You just got any parties coming up or just, uh... Yeah, well, actually, we were talking about a couple things we got in the works still that are not really, uh... You know, can't really talk about them too much, but got a couple different themes coming up over the summer, and then uh, we're gonna have something going on for the Down River Cruise, like a big pub crawl, and they do that Down River Cruise here, and um, you know, there's uh, something else I wanted to talk about. Damn weed. Just got no, no, that shit makes me talk. I know exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We need some makes of this. You think. Oh, that's one of the. Speaking of this, this is what I wanted to talk about. Yeah. My buddy's tequila company. If yeah. you guys haven't tried it out. What is the name of it, first of all? How do you say it? Tequila Cabresto. Cabresto. And it's a Detroit product. The people that own the company are from here in Detroit. They actually own a business for many years in uh, southwest Detroit, Lopez Tire. And uh, they grow their own tire. agave in Mexico. Why would you use a tire at that? And uh, it's won a lot of awards. <laughs> a lot yeah. of awards at San Francisco Wine and Spirit Doesn't competition. Like they do, um, <laughs> it's like the uh, World Series of liquor competition they beat out like patron don julio everybody it's was there it's pretty smooth because i don't so the colder like it gets the smoother it is yeah, so. yeah. Mm -hmm. no. it's smooth yeah i don't normally like tequila it's pretty good mm -hmm. yeah i mean like it because your tongue can't taste it when it's cold that's good that's pretty mm -hmm. damn good i mean my tooth don't it's hurt no more smooth. it's not like a, don't hurt anymore. i didn't yeah, gag that's, that's a huge at. deal mm -hmm. <laughs> like, ah, so now is this a family yeah, friend or you just a guy you met along the way or no, that's one of my buddies. I mean, we were friends. He kept telling me he's got this tequila. He's got this tequila. And then all of a sudden, he showed up with some bottles of it. I was like, Wow, he's got some tequila. That's good. <laughs> so he he actually helped me like found my web found my, uh, found my website. And then uh, when he first brought it in, it was like he wasn't really prepared to like. It wasn't like expecting to go as fast as it was, but like right away we got him hooked up with a couple big bars downtown. You know, the fact that it was a Detroit product, Detroiters love to support other Detroiters. Hell yeah, yeah. So Especially people would liquor. see it, they start asking for it. Yeah. And they were, they were it's, selling it's it downtown. And, you know, since then he's been just marketing it and trying to push it, you know, get it in other states. He's got it set up in Texas now. I think there's, um, I think he's in California. So he's got a few more states. But wow, when you, you start know, to get down there, that's pretty, you know, that's pretty strict competition down there because it's like, you know how it is because that's like. Right next, mm -hmm. right next to Mexico, so they got, they got all kinds of tequilas. Does Nugent live in Texas now? So, what's that again? Does it Nugent live in Texas now? That's where he belongs. Oh, yeah. Just oh, yeah. <laughs> mail him a bunch of the but tequila, you know what and he's bound to show up on the Saturday Night News with a bottle of it. Oh, yeah, for absolutely. Sure. absolutely. Sure. Like, sure. Al Jorgensen lives there, too, but he's our buddy. But anyhow, we got good old Ted Nugent. But yeah, like I said, it was... Uh, you know, me and Tony, the guy, the family that owns it, the Lopez family, they, they've uh, helped me out with the, the Beaver <clears> website, starting it up with the partying, with the marketing, and then it goes hand in hand. You know, I like to have parties. The they yeah, yeah. provide the parties. You we know. like your party. You yeah. know, you're going to find two things in my parties, guaranteed. The Cabresto and the Blow Pops. I mean, <laughs> Blow Pops, <laughs> right. that's yeah. open audition time. You know right. what I'm saying? <laughs> Pass them out at the door. There cuts, you go. Cuts your marketing time in half, trust me. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You know what's going on. That's, that's why that really life, you know? yeah, The beaver life is a good life to live, brother. You know. So next is opening day, right? Or St. Pat's. Well, yeah, St. Yeah. Pat's Day at Moose's. Like I said, when Moose's Martini's Day. Is, is it a that's Monday? like Monday. It's, yeah, it's on a Monday. I, know, but, I don't like Mondays. I usually take Mondays off, I but I mean, St. Patty's Day, taking a Monday off, you gotta get ripped, bro. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, come on, see, that's what's really weird. It's like St. Patrick's on the weekdays. Yeah, that just separates yeah, yeah. the real Irish from the fucking <laughs> fake Irish, man, because anybody can go out on a Friday and Saturday. But I know we are. We go out. We go out drinking. Look at I'm us. Very Irish. Yeah. yeah. We don't. Yeah, I'm not Irish. My mom's I'm a maiden name is Irish. I'm an Irish motherfucker on St. Patty's Day. Sadly, I'm an Irish hillbilly. Give me some this and Jameson. <laughs> Some Red Bull. I'm just old. I need to pick whether I want to do uh, St. Patrick's Day or Tiger's opening. I need to pick. You got to do both. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's like, like it's part of being a Detroiter if you got to do both. I mean, yeah. then we got 420 But what do you do when you get old? What? I'm old. I You're can't old. hang anymore. No. No excuse. I definitely can't hang. I need to pick. Oh, wait. I know. It is. It is. It's almost yeah. well. It's working though. It's working out. Yeah. You got everything no. solved. No, no. When we got to go, it's working. It's working out. Yeah. Great? Yeah. yeah, we got about that. I just want to make sure it's working, that's all. Yeah, so uh, it's working. Okay. You know, uh, we got everything working right over here now. Yeah, it's all party time. You guys should see this screen. He's got all the hot chicks over here. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, the porn we're watching right now. He's I'm like, man. About it, man. BBW wants to get at that. Larry. Well, that ain't Clint. what we're looking at. Oh, no. Uh -huh. you that right no, now. the BBW, though. Uh, what do you think about that? 
No, I think that that's great. They probably get a good turnout because it's something different. You know, that's the main thing at the strip clubs. You know, when you got something that's different, I people think are gonna draw. Really out. Cute fatties. I know. No, I'm not gonna say that there's not, but I'm just saying like, like you do something different. Biscuits. I mean, I did a couple contests at, at Hustler. I mean, we did a wet t-shirt contest and a bikini contest. I mean, how ass backwards does that sound exactly. in a strip club? Yeah, but people would be fucking jam-packed. Yeah, wanted to see these girls right. in the bikinis. I wanted know. to see these girls getting sprayed down. And I had to tell the girls, look, you got to keep the shirt on. That's yeah. part of the wet t-shirt contest. Right. <laughs> Not a wet titty contest, wet t-shirt <laughs> contest. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, see, that's when I got skilled. That's when shit went. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, there were some pretty good pictures. Too I mean, much of the beaver. <laughs> too much. Yeah, too much of the beaver. <laughs> I don't think there could ever be too much beaver. No, That's not right. at all. I got pictures to prove it. Many as you can fit. Many as you can fit. Reach out. Everybody loves it. That's right. We got to get the hell out of here. Hey, we do want to thank everybody for tuning in live around the world tonight. Thank you very much. Tune in Tuesday. Got to go, motherfuckers. I want to say thank you. Two hours thank down. you to the guys. That's right. Thank you very much. We want Love to thank you. our guest tonight, DJ Marky P. He's going to be partying yeah. down with, with this yeah. guy Rock Rock on the Cuban Rock, Rock Cruise. We're going to get some Fuck. more stories Five when he comes in. They're going to be drinking a lot of party with Rock 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 Jeremiah Ferguson, thank you so much for coming back. Once again, check him out at Simon's. He's going to be at Simon's. This Friday, Saturday? Friday. Friday night at Simon's. Friday Make sure you check it out. Simon's Simon. dark. Once again, and... Ron Ye in the house. Make sure you check out the books. Check out Royal Tales. And Kadra. Kadra. Yeah. Once again, the maestro behind the decks tonight. Thank you very much. Kelly Jean in the house. Big B. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. 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 BJ Struggle Gold in the house. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back next Tuesday Search with a whole new show. Love the Beaver. Yeah, make sure you check out that. Love beaver. the Beaver. Is it lovethebeaver.com? Yeah. Love lovethebeaver.com. Lovethebeaver.com, bitch. That's right. We love it. We're out. <laughs>